Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here, or Nick, back with another brand new video, guys. Today, I wanted to bring back my Minecraft block palette series to help you guys build with different blocks and basically explore different creative avenues within Minecraft building. <laughs> Now this is actually one of my favorite series to make. I don't really make it that often, but I just love doing it because one, it forces me to think outside of the box and kind of think, get out of my comfort zone with blocks that I use in Minecraft and build something really, really cool which I don't typically do in this video typically forces me to do that. And the other reason I love it is because it's one of those things in Minecraft building that I think a lot of people overlook because if you look at some of the very talented builders, a lot of them typically use the same blocks every time and I find myself doing that every single time as well. So if you can go ahead and mix up your block choice every once in a while, it will make your builds 10 times better. So without further ado guys, let's just jump right into the first palette. So our first palette is kind of like, I would say like a deserted island or like a tropical island themed palette. It has a lot of brights in it and the way I achieve this is this is actually a jungle biome that I basically just just put different blocks in so it's not jungle themed but if you use the jungle biome it really makes all the leaves and grass very very bright green which I think is a very important piece to this block palette so our first block is going to be the birch wood planks it's going to be the oak wood planks then it's going to be some jungle wood some sandstone some polished andesite and then some spruce wood planks and then just some jungle leaves and now a big thing that I like to do when it comes to building in Minecraft in different block palettes is I almost like to have a separate palette for the terrain or the ground versus the actual build that I'm building with so as far as the ground goes I really wanted to give it that beach jungle tropical theme so I had to go with sand obviously but I didn't want to just go with straight up sand by itself so we have the sand block in here then we have sandstone and then we have some birch wood planks and these are all different colors of tan within the game and why I like to use multiple blocks that have pretty much the same color is it gives a really nice texture because when you're from a distance kind of far back all those colors kind of blend in and all those blocks kind of blend into one but when you're up close it gives a lot more details that you just typically don't see in most builds like for example you probably wouldn't even really notice this at a quick glance but this is sand and this is sandstone but they're so close together that they just blend together but I just like adding that extra detail into a build and I think it makes it that much better and then as far as the palette goes for the actual build I really wanted to try to mix up the blocks a little bit these are very typical blocks for building houses you know cobblestone and all of the different kinds of planks but I really never see people use jungle wood for the actual house and I thought this would play in really well for a tropical island themed house I just thought that would go really well and it kind of forced me to try that out because I typically never build with jungle logs period like I just never use it and I think it actually works very very well in this build and I actually kind of like the texture going along with all of the other plank textures within this build right here. And then if you go back in and you add in some really nice colored leaves all throughout the build, it really brightens it up, especially because like I said, we are in a jungle biome. So everything's very vibrant and very intense. And it really makes that tropical island theme come across a lot easier because everything is so bright and like flourishing basically. So I think adding in all these little flowers, these really nice blue orchids, and then some of the little roses here and there really make the thing really bright and make it look really, really cool. So that's our first first palette I would love to see what you guys can come up with build wise when using these blocks but I think they all look very very well together and when I'm designing palettes typically I will pick a couple different blocks and then try to find other blocks that are similar in color for example like I had my tans so I basically had three different color tan blocks then I had two different color brown blocks and then I went ahead and just added stone as kind of a standout block and green leaves also as another standout block and that's kind of how I made this first block palette moving over to our next block palette now this build and block palette are pretty much one in the same there's no actual real structural build within this block palette it's basically the block palette is the terrain and that's what I was kind of going for with this specific build and what I mean by that is I basically wanted to create my own biome I wanted to basically make a biome that I don't ever see in Minecraft and I did that by using pre-existing blocks within the game so jumping right into what the blocks are in our palette is some spruce leaves some green stain clay some cobblestone some podzel some gravel and then some diorite and then some block of quartz and then soul sand and then some
some dark oak planks. So a block I was really trying to mix in was that diorite. It's a block that very rarely anyone really uses, but it actually works really well for, well, what it is. It's a rock within Minecraft, so it works really well as basically terrain, and what I did is I essentially replaced a stone terrain with a diorite terrain and I think that works out really well in something like this and I did my technique where I'll mix in a block that's very similar in color so that's where the quartz comes into play so you can see I mixed in the quartz here and there throughout the diorite to really kind of texturize the terrain and make it a lot more interesting versus just solely putting in diorite and then I tried to be creative with the blocks that I was using to simulate dirt because I didn't just want to put in grass and dirt I wanted to make it a little bit more more interesting so I put in some soul sand here and there because I do like the texture and I like the color of the soul sand and then I also put in some dark oak planks as basically trying to make like mud or really really dark soil and I think all of those blocks working together work really really well and then lastly I put in some green uh, clay because I wanted to mix up the grass textures now I like to do this a lot in a lot of builds just because when it's just straight up grass it's kind of boring to be honest with you but when you mix in some other green colors to basically make different colors of grass I wish there was different colored grass blocks in the game but there isn't so unfortunately we have to do this by adding in like green clay within the actual textures or within the actual I guess grass to make it more interesting and then I went back and I just flourished everything with a bunch of different colored I guess flowers and stuff like that kind of all making this palette or this build very like spooky and very dark like I didn't want it to be all happy and like like this tropical island over here I wanted to make it a little bit more dark and like spooky almost like a spooky forest vibe and then I mixed in the gravel and the cobblestone and the puzzle as like a little path leading up to our custom nether portal right here and if you don't know how I did this it's very simple you basically just put a nether portal set back one and you kind of get that really cool shape when you aren't up close you get this like oh it's a very unique shaped nether portal I think it just looks very cool and then lastly, I finished it off with some custom trees to top it off because, you know, if you just throw in a custom tree, it's going to make your build look a lot better. It's not overly difficult. I know it's very hard for people and it honestly was a, a learning curve for most and it's a learning curve for me. But now that I've kind of gotten more used to building these really unique trees, I think it's really, really cool. And if you don't know how to do that, I actually made a full video on how to make custom trees and I'll leave it actually linked down in the description down below. And moving on to our final palette of the day, I wanted to try to do something extremely, extremely different, something that was way out of my own personal comfort zone and that was building with quartz for some reason I just never build with quartz within Minecraft I just for some reason don't like the block or I don't even know if I would say don't like the block I just never really knew how to incorporate it as a main focal block within a build so jumping into the blocks that we use for this palette we have some smooth stone slabs we have some dark prismarine we have dark oak planks then we have some spruce planks and then we have some soul sand and then we have some polished granite we have some cyan stained clay and then we have some cracked stone bricks some andesite some cobblestone some quartz and then finally some green stained clay now, like before, I did the same thing where I separate two different block palettes for the build. So the actual terrain is a separate block palette from the terrain or the actual block palette of the build. So in the actual terrain block palette, you can kind of see it's made up of some grass. It's made of some green clay, some cracked stone, some spruce planks right there, some granite right there, and then that's pretty much the palette for the ground, and when you kind of mix in all of those blocks together, they all mesh really, really well together, because all the stones work too really, really well together, and then the green clay and then the grass, like I just covered over there, also works really, really well together, and it kind of meshes together and gives a really unique, almost a new biome feel. And then into the actual build, you can see that we use the dark prismarine as our roof, we use the quartz is pretty much our structural and focal outer pieces of the actual build and this is supposed to be like a, almost like a mansion style build and then we use the dark oak planks and we use the cyan clay as basically blocks in the background some more minor blocks but things that kind of fill up the color of the wall and when you put the dark dark texture of this dark oak and the cyan clay right here next to the really bright white of the quartz it meshes very very well and I think that's probably the best way to go about using quartz in a build is you kind of have 
to use it as like a block that outlines things because your eye is going to kind of go to the bright white first and then it's going to kind of follow back into the more darker things because the bright is very popping and then the darks are as popping. So I found that the best way for me to do this was by kind of just implementing that as like the structural pieces around the entire build and then kind of just outlining other parts such as outlining the roof right here and the other thing that i found as like a building technique for this is quartz by itself has its own like block style texture because it has pretty much like a line around the entire block so if you're just straight up using the quartz blocks like for example if i only built with the block of quartz and not with the stair it's gonna be really blocky and really boring. And the way I navigated around this is I added in some stairs instead to kind of give it some really nice depth, but it wasn't only for depth, it was kind of to break up that uniform look of just straight up blocks of quartz. And I think when you take a step back, this is a really, really nice block palette that you're not really seeing many people use. So I would be very interested to see what kind of builds you guys are able to come up with using this block palette because it took me some, it took me a little while to kind of come up with this I had to play with a lot of different blocks to really find something that I liked and I ultimately settled on this and I really really like this so that's where we're gonna kind of bring this video to a wrap I only got three block palettes for you today because I didn't want to overwhelm you and I wanted to leave room for more episodes of this series potentially and if you haven't seen any of my previous episodes of this I will leave it down in the description down below as well as I have pretty much have a playlist full of these I think I've made four or five maybe six of these now and you know I find all of them very interesting because sometimes I actually go back and look at them myself to try to find inspiration to use different blocks when I'm building something new but if you guys found this video helpful definitely show your support down below I'd love to hear from you guys on basically what you think works well for you and basically if you have any other block ideas or block palette ideas I'd love to hear those down in the comment section down below but while you guys are down there guys might as well hit that subscribe button but as always guys I love you all See you guys next time. Peace out.